But if the conditions are right, and you've got the right telescope, then you can actually take a direct image of an exoplanet. And this has been done from the ground many times. But Webb was able to take its first direct image of an exoplanet. The planet again is not Earth like it has nine times the mass of Jupiter and orbits an A type star, which is a very young, hot star that is much more massive than the sun takes 630 years to orbit the star at 92 AU, which is way beyond the orbit of Pluto. But because the star is so bright, giving off so much light, the planet is so large, and it's also far enough away that Webb is able to distinguish between the star and its planet, it was able to give this picture. So here is a picture of an exoplanet taken by Webb. Webb was also able to confirm an exoplanet. Finding planets is a bit of a process. So some telescope will detect a candidate planet, they'll notice a dimming of a star as a planet might have passed in front. But then astronomers have to do follow on observations to say yes, indeed, there is a planet there. And so there was a candidate planet that was found by TESS, NASA's transiting exoplanet survey satellite. And follow on observations were done with James Webb to confirm that yes, indeed, there is a planet here, it was able to use its near infrared spectrograph and confirm that the planet is there, watching two transits as it's passed in front of the star, we don't know much, the planet is Earth sized, but we don't know if it has an atmosphere. So it could be another target in the future for Webb to come back again and try to characterize its atmosphere.